Okay, let's go through our basic um, settings. So we've installed XBMC, and now uh, there's just a few little bits we need to tweak. So go over to the system, click on there, and we we'll start off with appearance. Um, so you can change the skin in there. You can change what this looks like, um, the actual theme and everything. Um, but we'll leave that for another video. Uh, international is one of the things you're going to need to change. So in my case, I'm in the UK, so I'm going to go with the 12 hour clock UK. Uh, you can change your language and everything in there. Uh, file lists, I, you're probably not going to need to change much in here. Um, I mean, the, on, the only thing I would say is allow file name in deletion. If you enable that, uh, that will allow you to delete content from actually within XBMC so let's say for example you scanned in some videos that you have on your hard drive some movies and um, when you're browsing through them if you bring up the special context menu it will have an option to delete and that will delete from your hard drive so uh, most people are going to want that ticked off for safety reasons um, and the other one is show hidden files and directories um, personally I like to enable that uh, because I do quite a lot of things behind the scenes um, that involve me needing to see hidden files. Um, but most people aren't going to need it on. Um, and you can set your screensaver in there as well. You can change it up so you can watch um, uh, photos and things like that. Um, there's plenty of different screensavers you can have. So we come out of that section. Um, video section. In the library, when you scan content to your library, um, you can choose to group movies in sets. So what that would mean is, um, let's say you've got the Star Wars collection, um, rather than come up as Return of the Jedi, The Empire Strikes Back, and when you're looking for them in the library, you know, if you've got a massive library, it can it can be a bit hassle. If you forget, I mean, no one's going to forget what the uh, Star Wars ones are called, but if you do forget, if uh, uh, that what a film is called and you want to watch the whole set it can be hard work so if you put it to grouping sets it would actually group it in a whole set it would say the Star Wars collection you click on that and then it lists all the movies in date order so I like to have that personally um, update library on startup if um, if you add content to add movies to your movie folder you can tick that and it will automatically update your XBMC library and um, you can hide the progress as well if you want um, so if you if you have that enabled it just do it in the background you won't see anything if you have it uh, disabled as it is um, in the top right corner where the time is uh, it will come up just t explaining what's scanning in at the moment uh, the playback up uh, you're not really going to be needing to change anything in that um, again these are all pretty standard settings there's nothing you're really going to need to change in here um, so we come out of there. The live TV, this is quite an advanced feature, so I'm not going to go into this now. Um, but I'll just quickly tell you, it's um, it was implemented, uh, I think, with the Frodo release of XBMC um, in about uh, 2013. And um, basically, if you've got a TV tuner card plugged into your PC you can use that and integrate uh, the live TV function into XBMC but it's a more advanced feature and I'll go into that um, in another guide. Uh, the music is very much like the video section but for music so you've got the option to download additional information during updates what that would do uh, that would grab things like uh, details on the artist, um, it grab all their information, grab their artwork, it would grab details on albums, um, you know, it would scrape pretty much all the information into your library that you could possibly need. Um, and again, you've got uh, update and hide uh, exactly the same as, uh, as it was in videos. Playback again not a lot you're going to change here um, I wouldn't imagine um, the only thing I like to have in here is cue songs on selection so what that will do is it will act more like a jukebox so if you click on something um, with that disabled as uh, the default if you click on something it will override what's currently playing stop it and play whatever you've clicked on 
uh, if you have that enabled you can click on it and as soon as the uh, current song is finished it will start playing the next one so I like that um, it's like I say it's uh, it's more of a jukeboxy feel and you've got the crossfade as well which you can set there so if you want to crossfade songs over so uh, start one just as one's finishing you can set that um, the naming convention you really not going to need to change that you can submit songs to last fm if you're signed up to them and also libra fm um, the audio audio cds and karaoke it's unlikely you're going to need um, either of those set up pictures um, not a lot to do in here really um, you basically set the um, slideshow amount so if you've got your slideshow set to come up as uh, random pictures uh, from your photo gallery uh, you can set the details in there and you can choose what to show in there and weather so what you need to do in weather is go to settings click on enabled and put location so I'm just gonna put London and London UK and for some reason, um, on this version of XBMC, it disables it again. So uh, just click Enable again, and then go down to OK, and you'll find when you come out, all your weather information is there. Um, Add-ons. Uh, basically, we, we go into this in another guide, because this is... Um, this is quite an important feature and it deserves a section of its own uh, but you can install all the greatest add-ons from here whether they're unofficial or official things like YouTube and um, streaming websites and all of that so again as I say we're going to that in another guide um, the services menu really um, you can change your device name so how it appears on the network if you want um, you can enable uh, universal plug and play. Uh, a, you can set it up as a web server. I mean, these are all quite quite advanced features, really. Um, uh, you can um, you can also allow programs um, to control XBMC. So, you, if you've got, say, for example, a smart um, smartphone or tablet, you can install something like the Yahtzee app and use that as an as a remote control for your XBMC and it, it uses it over Wi-Fi and if you used to do that you'd uh, tick this box here as well you'd enable HTTP um, and again that's another advanced feature we're going to at a later date and you've got the zero conf and um, the iTunes airplay as well that you can um, enable there and then finally the system settings so you can set your resolution in here um, it should auto uh, choose the best resolution for your display um, the video calibration is quite an important one which a lot of people get wrong so you click on that and then move your little cursors around and move move that top left uh, box until it's where you want it okay so wherever you think looks right there we go and then you know the same with the bottom one so a, a lot of TVs, it's um, it's not just not set up quite properly, um, and this is the way to do it. Just set up the corners here, and then set up where the subtitles go, and make sure that box looks square, which it does. And you just click Enter to go through it. When you want to come out, just press Escape, and that's that calibrated. Um, what else we got in here? We've got the audio output. If you're finding that you don't have um, any sound. It could be that you need to click on this and, and choose a different output. Um, so you can choose on there, you know, depend on which device you are using for your audio output. And also this down here, um, if you're not hearing anything, just click on it. And you can hear there's no sound at the minute. Just click on it until you hear a click and then you know that's the right one. Okay and again that's uh, a lot of people do seem to have problems with that so it is that simple just click clipping clipping him through and um and eventually you'll hear a click and uh, that's working um the input devices uh remote control sends keyboard presses if you find that um your remote isn't really working properly so it sometimes brings up an on-screen display a little on-screen keyboard um if you can't navigate around that um 
and you can't use your keyboard properly, try enabling this. That might well sort it out. Um, it's usually a simple fix like that. So some some remote controls do send keyboard presses. Um, and you can enable mouse uh, and touchscreen support and also joystick and gamepad support. So the uh, 360 controllers, PS3 controllers and things like that can also control this. Um, you can um, uh, limit your ban bandwidth as well if you particularly want to. If you um, don't want to exceed your um, allowance with your ISP. And you can go into power saving mode. You can choose what it does when it... Um, when you shut down you can I mean I quit but you could shut down the whole system you can choose to minimize suspend hibernate um, do all your normal things you can do in a PC and uh, debugging is um, if you have a problem and you want to go on one of the forums you need to post a debug log so you would enable that and, um, and post up a log but again I've done videos uh, showing how to do that so we won't go into that just now and um, you can set master lockup if you want, if you want, and um, basically it's uh, it's just security uh, system settings really. If you don't want people tampering with uh, your settings and what have you, you can set that up. Okay, so that's the settings really. It's there's not a lot to do, and just to show you with the weather, if we click on that, that should now show London. It just takes a while to come up initially. There you go, and um, we've got London up there. Okay, uh, thanks for watching.